Qatari royal family worth $335 billion. Qatar's population is about 2.6 million. And yet, its royal family seems to own half of London. The Qatari royal family is one of the richest dynasties in the world. The House of Thani has a long history. It was founded in 1847 by Mohammed bin Thani. He was the first ruler of the whole Qatari Peninsula. The royal family is estimated to include thousands of members. Qatar has the world's third largest natural gas and oil reserves. That has made its ruling family rich beyond imagination. It is the third richest royal family in the world. Currently, it is headed by Tamam bin Hamad Al Thani. At 42, he's the youngest sovereign in the world. He has a net worth of $1.2 billion. A mansion in the heart of London is a luxury few can afford. Moza bin Nasser, the former emir of Qatar's wife, is one of them. She bought a lavish mansion at Cornwall Terrace for $80 million. She then paid an additional $40 million for two three Cornwall Terrace. One Cornwall Terrace spans 21,500 square feet and has seven bedrooms. It also has spas and a leisure complex with a gym and indoor swimming pool. Meanwhile, 23 Cornwall Terrace offers six bedrooms and 14,000 square feet. The family plans to turn the five-story buildings into a 17-bedroom mega mansion. Its potential worth is estimated at $230 million. That would make it the most expensive building in London. But that is just a fraction of the family's real estate in London. It owns more property in the capital than England's own monarchy. For instance, it has acquired a 20% slice of Camden Market. It also owns half of the world's most expensive apartment block at Hyde Park. The Alphanies even bought London's Victory Park Olympic Village. London's Shard Skyscraper, the tallest building in the UK, is also Qatari owned. The Althani family has properties in the U.S. as well. They bought a 219,000-square-foot building near the White House for $107.9 million. The royal family always travels in style. It owns a $348 million super yacht, the Katara. The family also owns a multi-million dollar cruiser, Hal Mirka, dubbed the Floating Palace. The Super e Act contains 12 rooms. It has handcrafted furniture and is decorated with Picasso and Van Gogh paintings. The family's cars are also top-notch. One member of Qatar's royal family drives a Bugatti Chiron. The model set the world record for the fastest car, reaching 300 miles per hour. Such a car would cost about $5 million without customization. Hamid bin Khalifa Al Thani also drives a Chiron. In addition, he owns a Lamborghini, Sheen FKP37 and a Ferrari, Mons SP2. The royal family owns large stakes in major companies. They include Tiffany & Co., the Empire State Building, and Volkswagen. The Al Thani's own 8% of the London Stock Exchange. Qatar's royal family also loves sports. One member purchased Malaga CF for $44 million in 2010. Amir Tamam bin Hamad Al Thani is chairman of the National Olympic Committee. He also oversaw Qatar's bid to host the 2020 to FIFA World Cup. The announcement that Qatar will be the host has sparked a lot of controversy. But with that kind of money, they can get away with anything. 